Spring is in the air, I guess they say, and so is spring football. Coach, uh, you guys started last Saturday, and what's the uh, what's the plan for the spring? To get better. Is, yeah, we're, we're going to get better. Uh, you know, we're going to we're going to have an emphasis on a lot of different things, um, and, and the biggest thing is to continue to uh, cultivate our uh, culture of accountability. That's something we've made a, a tremendous stride on here in the last uh, year year and a half um, after after my first season. That um, we needed we knew we uh, needed uh, a new direction with that, and, and our guys have responded very very well. I'm extremely happy about uh, the caring and the connection in our locker room that we're we have and, and continue to cultivate and, and uh, you know and then from a football standpoint we got to take care of the football right. and we got to create turnovers and we got to tackle and we got to do all those things better so um, you know they're they're humble and they're hungry and, and working hard and, and we made tremendous strides in the off season. it's exciting to get back out there well that's what I was going to ask you let's go back to that idea of the culture in general that uh, a lot of the things you do now are really going to show up although they may not show up in the box score or people notice them but this is the time when you can make those changes make those strides yeah, and it's um, as I talked to every one of the, the players uh, in the off season, the returners. Um, you know, we talked about um, our season and uh, and specifically talked about the adversity we went through, and um, also um, that senior group that that uh, left. Um, you know, those guys didn't stop, and uh, they continued to go, and that's why it was strangely fulfilling. I've said that before, and people look at me like I'm crazy. Mm -hmm. You're one and nine. You're strangely fulfilling. They say, well, you weren't competitive, and I say, well, you're you're wrong because all you're doing is looking at the uh, the newspaper. They don't know what's happening right. behind the scenes. And, and there's a lot of really, really good things happening behind the scenes, and that's that's a tribute to our players, our coaches, and and uh, the vision that we have for the program. And and um, you know, it, it's an exciting time. But it started it started uh, last year with that group not stopping. Right. There would have been there would have been a lot of different times we could have just derailed and and uh, and just say, hey, we just got to get through to next year. And that didn't happen. Right. So that's that was extremely important. You know, when I had them over at my house, I told them how important that was um, to where we're heading. And and uh, now the the uh, younger guys guys and, and um, you know the groups uh, that, that's returning they're taking it they're taking it a step further and uh, you know we're, we're taking three strides we have to take three more right. before next fall well you talked about the the turnovers on both sides of the ball is that something you can specifically work on this time of year yeah I mean um, we, we did it last year and it, we just didn't see the fruits of our labor and and so you continue to you know down that path and and which we will um, especially when we get in some contact stuff um, you know and get get an opportunity to go more and more against um, offense versus defense but I mean, we, we've got to be aware and uh, you know, and, and when there's an opportunity to make a play, defense we have to make it. Period. There, there's no. Oh, I need a second chance. Sure. And, and you know what's awesome about it is our guys are owning up to that. Oh, you yeah, have yeah. guys. Yeah, I had you know we had a couple of recruits in last weekend. We had dinner with one of the hosts, and he's like, "Yeah, I, I missed a couple of opportunities. I should have never missed them." Like, mm -hmm. you know, hey, we're making strides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we're making strides when we when we get that, and we know we have to take care of the ball, and uh, especially in the red zone. Right. I don't know how many red zone turnovers we had, but uh, you know. You know, we don't turn it over twice and or once against uh, Truman State, and that ball game's tied. And do it again against uh, uh, SBU. Those are the two top sure. teams in our conference, and we're within six points of them right. late in the ball game. Right. So it, you know, it's say what you want, but uh, really good things are happening. I want to talk to you about the schedule and how it's changed a little bit here. But first of all, you announced a couple of weeks ago some some changes in the coaching staff, some rearrangements, some new people. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about that, please? Yeah, it was um, it was a really exciting time. You know, when you have a couple coaches leave for different reasons and, and uh, family and another opportunity, um, um, you get an opportunity to, to reflect and, and reevaluate where you are, especially being first-time head coach. Mm -hmm. and, and it was an opportunity to do some things that um, for people that were very deserving within the staff, um, Taylor Gallagher is going to be our uh, is our assistant head coach and offensive coordinator. He's going to call the offense this year, and um, you know he's he's just a, a very bright young man that's um, that's very loyal, and um, so that's uh, that was I was excited for him right. to have that opportunity. Um, Zach Mann um, has moved to a, 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 a basically a full-time position um, you know with uh, within our staff and, and having a director of football operations which he is he is extremely Organized with that, right. and and it's awesome to to be able to keep him around, um, you know, with our doing our travel and working our our camp schedules and uh, assisting and recruiting, um, you know, and and uh, he just does so much for us uh, behind the scenes. But it 
it helps us be a, a well-oiled machine. So very excited for him and and uh, him and that opportunity. And then um, <clears throat> Coach Chuck Litteris, uh, we're reunited yeah. here at Jewel, and, and uh, it was awesome to get uh, uh, Coach Litteris back. Um, I remember the days of his defenses when he was here, and yeah. and uh, they were downhill, fierce, and, and fighting all the time. He calls it fire and ice, and <laughs> and uh, that's uh, that's what that's what we want. Number one, and and but he's he's very much into the uh, creating turnovers and, and tackling as must very sound and and uh, and discipline our approach there so very excited about that and the other one is um Quinn Brown um, had an opportunity to bring back uh, as our offensive line coach. He'd spent some time out at uh, the University of Wyoming, about three years there, and then last season at the uh, University of Northern Colorado, um, and had worked with their offensive lines and, and whatnot. So, uh, you know, we're, we're putting some emphasis on uh, on the running game and, and controlling the clock some that way um, this year, and, and he brings a new dimension uh, for us up front and, and some insight into some things. So just couldn't be more happy with the changes and the people that we have surrounding and, uh, you know, that are here to serve our kids and and um, and hold ourselves and and, uh, and our and our team to a higher standard. Right. Now about that schedule. Uh, unfortunately, St. Joseph's College we know is folding. They will no longer be on our football schedule. Obviously, you've had to fill that hole. But we also have a couple of new opponents uh, besides filling that hole. Can you talk about that whole picture? Yeah. Do you want me to go through the schedule, non-conference? If you can do that, I that'd can be do great. that. Thursday night, <laughs> everyone. Thursday night, uh, the Thursday before Labor Day, we'll open at home at six o'clock against South Dakota Mines, and and so that. Uh, that's going to be an exciting time. Last for time us. in the series with them? Um, for now. For now? Yeah, for now. Um, who knows what may happen in the future. Uh, but they're um, finished up a home and home. Uh, we went there last year, and they'll come here uh, next year to open, open up on Thursday night. Should be exciting. Should be a great crowd. Right. Um, we want everybody there. Um, the uh, the following week, we'll go to uh, Texas A&M Commerce in Commerce, Texas, um, uh, where I got my master's. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. So um, I can talk smack on their school. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, well, uh, last yeah. year it was dumb. Yeah, yeah it was now it's commerce. It's commerce, so why not? <laughs> it's kind of the I'm gonna have to go get my doctor to find yeah. out where we're gonna play next. <laughs> I just haven't been admitted to John Hopkins yeah. yet, yet. So, but uh, um, we'll go to commerce, and they're a very good team, um, Coach. Coach Carthel has gotten them to a point where they're in the national playoffs. They were in there last year, and and uh, so it's it'll be it'll be stout. It'll be stout competition. Looking forward to the opportunity to to see how far we've come. And then uh, the following week we'll have uh, the team that replaces um, St. Joseph's on the schedule um, as uh, University of Findlay out of Findlay, Ohio. We'll be coming here to start a home and home series with them uh, in week three. So we're excited uh, to see some new blood come into sure. to uh, Green Stadium. And um, you know, someone from Ohio coming in here again. I think the last one would have been Central States or Urbana, Urbana a few years, yeah. a few years back. But uh, um, you know, excited to fill that spot mm -hmm. um, and with such late notice, and I hate it for everyone at St. Joseph's um, that uh, they they were going through that uh, right. and, and went through that situation. Um, but um, and then the uh, we'll play our normal conference schedule. It'll just be opposite of what it was um, last year, and then we'll on. Uh, uh, November 11th, actually, we'll head down the 10th, um, fly into either San Antonio or Corpus Christi and, and play uh, Texas A&M Kingsville, right. another Lone Star school that I believe they won six out of their last seven and have uh, have a very, very strong tradition of um, some very good football there in Kingsville, Texas. Okay. Finally, your spring uh, practice schedule culminates. Uh, how long are you going and, and what's at the very end? Yeah, April 22nd is the, um, it's, it's also uh, Parents Weekend, coincides with okay. Parents Weekend. It's always great to get as uh, many parents back and whatnot and, and get in the stands to uh, see, you know, what uh, what all we've accomplished um, throughout the spring. So that's uh, that's the uh, that's the big wrap up to the spring is um, is that spring game. Boy, and the season will be here as always before you know it. No doubt. Yeah. Can't yeah. wait. Thanks, coach.